So, first ever Galaxy Fold. God, what a mess that thing was, huh? But if y'all know me, y'all know I've been stuck on this OG Galaxy Fold for a minute. Like, not anymore, but like, I used to be stuck on this OG Galaxy Fold for like, I think five years after it came out. This was my daily. This was my baby right here. And I still got everything up on here. And I'm trying to tell y'all how it is nowadays. It's like, what, August 31st. So as of August 31st, how's the OG Galaxy Fold nowadays? And I don't know why. I just don't know how I feel about recording this video today, but I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> all right so y'all know exactly where we at and that's the pool table of greatness so woo, yeah let's get turned all right it's saturday over here today and it's time for me to go and run down with y'all the og galaxy fold over here oh my god so this thing i've been using since basically it came out all right i've been on the og galaxy fold heavy okay like this phone been so dope to me the only problem i really got with this so far is like if you see it or i lost it i don't even know where it went this is like a dot somewhere in the lcd okay there it is so if you see that right over there you see that dot right there in the lcd yeah so that happened with me. I didn't even bother to get that fixed because it's just so small. So I was just like, fuck it, whatever, we ball, all right? <laughs> so let's go and talk about this thing right here. So this came out in 2019, and I don't know if y'all remember, but that OG Galaxy Fold had a bunch of issues like back when it first came out in like March or when they announced it. Because the YouTubers got it in their hands and they kept breaking in their hands. So like they went ahead and fixed that, whatever else we good now, we straight. But now if I go and take this off, and by the way, this was so hard for me to find this case. I've been looking for this white leather case everywhere. And I finally found it on eBay one day because I was using a black one and that's all i could find anywhere but oh boy yeah look at that thing boy okay that look clean for sure and it still holds to this day man like this is the cleanest phone and the best looking phone i've ever seen probably because it's color right here because i can't say it the same for the black color but if you just look at this man it's so clean like i mean yes if you look at the screen right here it's small okay i understand that but just look at the design perspective from like back here look at it from the back okay we all love a good view from the back okay <laughs> i'm just saying no but yeah this looks so clean and no so yes we still got this huge notch over here i ain't forget about that especially if you go ahead and compare it to something like this z4 4 over here you can see that all we got is a hole punch so let me go pull up this phone over here and you can see we only got the home punch no more i forgot about that so we don't even really got the hole punch we just got this under display camera which you can't really even see that much and then over here on the og galaxy fold it's a huge difference like i'm telling y'all you can see right here right but this ain't really gonna be like a is it worth it still this is gonna be kind of like a galaxy fold in 2024 just to let y'all know how it's still running nowadays and by the way i just want to go ahead and flex this real quick because i mean this is kind of crazy that i still got it but i still got a sealed galaxy fold over here you can't find this nowhere and that's exactly why i went ahead and did this because i wanted to go ahead and hold on to this and probably resell it in the future maybe if it's going for a lot so we'll see like i'm sure i can sell that right now but at the same time though like let me play it smart let me play my car smart and i bet i get somewhere with it so let's go and talk about using this nowadays and let's go and talk about the speed up on here so the speed on the og galaxy fold it's definitely slowing down a little bit. I'm not even going to hold y'all. But surprisingly, it still run pretty decent. So I was actually driving today. I was driving home and I was using Android Auto in this thing, right? And it honestly performed pretty decent because a lot of phones, they lag a lot with Android Auto. A lot of older phones anyway, they lag with Android Auto because they're not really fast enough to go ahead and keep up with it and use the processing power to go ahead and get that running smooth. So like it ran good on here. And also another thing, so we got AAAD. So that's another thing where we actually got this app called Fermat audio where you can watch youtube and android auto and ever since android what was it 14 or something like that i forgot what it was that you can't use it no more though i think it might have been android 13 though all i know is nowadays you can't use from audio and android auto and with this we got an older version of android so if i go and pull this up go over here to the about phone let me make sure i'm not revealing any info we got Android 12, so we still straight. Android 12, it still works with it. I was just using it in the car. We got YouTube on here, so that's dope. And I got over here Grubhub open because I was trying to see if there's any orders. And okay, so let me go through to the side. My bad about that. But yeah, speed has taken a hit. But at the same time, though, like it's pretty much not bad at all, man. So let me go over here to like, let's say I just want to go and do some regular things. Like I'm scrolling through TikTok. Let me go and open that up and i don't know why i was logged out all right all right cool so we straight now so i went ahead and fixed my tiktok and as you can see here like everything runs perfectly it's fine man like just scrolling through here watching my videos perfectly fine man if i go and fold that I got my TikTok here still on the main display, or not the main display, but the cover display. Now that's not what my For You page really look like. I don't know why TikTok do that, but like, let me go and log in again and let me show you what my For You page really look like. 
So that's my for you page right there. That's my for you page. And shout out to Kevin Breeze, by the way. That's my boy. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Anyway, that's the Gucci Galaxy 4 right there. It runs smooth. Like, I mean, well, no. It still lags a little bit. But at the same time, it'll run better than I thought. Now, I am holding this thing, and I can feel it starting to get a little bit warm. Now, it ain't really that warm. But at the same time, no, I notice it. And I don't notice that on something like, I don't know, my S20 Ultra or even this right here, my Z4 4. I swear to God, I hate TikTok. <laughs> okay, let me get off TikTok. Actually, no. I want to get on to some more. Ah, oh, the TikTok's so addicting, bro. I used to not be a TikTok dude, but look at me now. They got me, bro. They fucking got me. Now, let's go and talk about some other things over here. Like, how is it possible that I'm using this tiny display cover over here when I use something like the Z4 4? So, obviously, that's a huge difference. Wait, hold up. That's a huge difference right there, all right? So, I'm not going to lie. Like, I've been using this OG Galaxy Fold for a minute, like I told y'all, up until, like, five years after it came out. And nowadays, like, it's still kind of the same feeling for me. I just don't mind it. I just like it because it's just, like, a one-handed use right here. With this Z Fold 4 or the Z Fold 5 or 6, you got to go ahead and reach, like, high up. You got to do all these finger gymnastics and whatever else, pause. But at the same time, though, like, I'm cool with this. Now, how's that camera looking? All right, so let's go and take a picture of this water bottle, and let's see what this looks like. So. I did take some pictures, but all right, let's go ahead and pull this up. Let's see what that looked like. And still looks clean, man. Honestly, like really the with the old let like the folds in general, Samsung never really put that much work into the camera like they do the S series. I don't know why they do that, but at the same time, though, it still looked good in my opinion. Like if you go ahead and just take this picture, let me go and do that. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and open this up. As you can see. It looks clean, man. I'll go ahead and throw it up on the screen too, but like this picture looks clean to me. Same thing with videos. If I go over here and go over here to this, you can see that I can record up to 4K60. So a lot of phones nowadays, they record up to 8K30, but I just don't really care about that because like it's still not even that good yet. So we gotta give that more time. Now let's go and talk about the software up on this thing because it is a little bit older now, but I don't have no type of compatibility issues because I think that's just a thing with Android. So a lot of phones do be behind on software updates. And I feel like after developers know that so they don't really make it where you have to have the latest version of android out to go ahead and use your app like it works perfectly fine for all these apps like if i go and open up ig let's go and see what that looked like and i was kind of afraid to open that up on the camera but i mean you can see there it is optimized for this though so that's cool all right so right there as you can see and thank god nothing really showed up too crazy on my instagram like usually i ain't gonna lie man like my ig be do looking a little crazy be do is that a word and okay there we go so eh, that ain't really too risque and like that or risque at all okay so whoa vicky whatever all right it's decent cool now the battery life so the battery life surprisingly held up too so the battery life up on here is just like i mean really it still lasts throughout the whole day i'm sure it lost a little bit of life but at the same time though like the battery life is still pretty much sufficient to me i didn't really have an issue with it when i got it brand new and i still don't got the issue with it so that's good and obviously we got to go and talk about the durability with the og fold so that's what everybody was scared about and that's what we was wondering how it would be like years down the line so as you can see the hinge over here, the probably the most important part because that's what got us into trouble and the same thing over here. So I already told you about this right here where I actually got that dot in my LCD. So we actually got that broken pixel, but with the hinge over here, it's still like holding on strong too. Now, as you can see, it's not gonna go ahead and just hold itself like it on the newer folds or anything. But at the same time, no, it's still like, I feel like it's good too. I like how it closes better too, just the sound itself. Listen to this. That's better to me, in my opinion, than that. And also, the hinge isn't as tight as when I got it, but it's still, like, a good feeling hinge. Like, I have no problems with it, for real. And you can just see over here, like, I have no screen protector or anything like that. Now, I know if you get a Galaxy Fold fix, they do put a screen protector on there. Like, an actual screen protector that you put on the phone like this. Just a regular plastic screen protector, but this is holding it down good. Better than I thought, man. Like, everybody was scared of the OG Fold, and I was, too. I remember when I first got my original Galaxy Fold, I had to go ahead and put it in in like a pouch or something like that and 
didn't put it in my pocket because Fossey Carter did the same thing too. That's where I got it from. Because I ain't want no type of dust or none like that getting inside of my OG fold. And it's still holding good. Because I'm pretty sure I stopped doing that like what? Maybe a month after I got the phone. So like I wasn't even really worried at that point no more. But it is outdated. But at the same time though, I could still use this phone today. Like really, I don't think I would have a problem with it. And I almost did too. Now you don't get 5G or nothing like that. And they do have a version for that, but not in the US. But with the OG Galaxy Fold, I feel like it's really held down a lot better than a lot of y'all probably expected, at least with mine. So this one's holding up good for sure. And with that, I want you to let me know how you feel about this in the comments below and let me know if you would go ahead and pick up an OG Fold. Because they still out there. There's a lot of them broken, but they out there if you look on eBay and swap or whatever else. And I'll go ahead and let y'all know if I want to go ahead and sell that sometime. I don't know when I'm going to go ahead and sell it, but maybe I'll just go ahead and keep it. We'll see. I just know I'm not going to sell it in the next few years. Like, that's not going to happen, bro. It is what it is. Anyway, appreciate you, man. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go and give this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe. Go and follow me on my social media at Ecentic and this German X at Facebook, but this German X on most active. But with that being said, if you want to see anything specifically on the OG fold, again, let me know down there in the comments below and I'll try to get back to y'all on that. But for right now, you be smooth. I'm going to get up with you later. Peace out. <laughs>